So guys, quite honestly, I'm glad to be proven wrong sometimes, especially when it comes to things that benefit everyone, and in this case, it's going to be Hardware 3 and the future of full self-driving. Over the past few weeks, concerns whether Hardware 3 was going to be supported much longer, and if it were to stop, what would happen to the rest of us? It all started off with Elon's original tweet stating that they were moving over to the next generation AI model and that would increase parameter counts by a factor of 5, making it so that the newer hardware would be required. Now although he didn't explicitly say that hardware 3 was no longer enough, he did say that the next generation of full self-driving is going to require a lot of compute and that would be extremely hard to achieve without upgrading the computer. He went on to say that it'll take a considerable amount of work to optimize hardware 3 and the ETA will be approximately 10 days from that post. So 10 days went by, then 15 days, then 20 days without full self-driving on hardware 3 and we were all anxious for this release, Elon went out saying that they are working extremely hard on it, the team is working day and night, and essentially they are going to be coming out with one that is heavily optimized and one that is going to be coming with a different release number. Now if you want to know more about this different release number and how it'll compare to Hardware 4, go check out my previous video, I have all the details over there, I'll drop that link in the description below and up top there. So now highlighting all of these points, it would lead us to believe that they are having difficulty with hardware 3 and the optimization process and there could be a chance that it was not going to come in the end. Well that wasn't the case and all of that was squashed as soon as Tesla came out and they released 12.5 to hardware 3 vehicles. All of this was detected by not a Tesla app and that was just a few days ago and then here it's rolling out today. Just last night, Tesla rolled out update 2024.26 6.15 which includes a full self-driving version 12.5.1.4 and all of this can be quite intimidating and extremely confusing for those who don't follow Tesla's build. But what it comes down to is the public build and the full self-driving build is both rolling out together at once. According to Not A Tesla app, the release notes are expected to remain the same. The big news with this update is that Tesla has finally added full self-driving 12.5 branch to hardware 3 vehicles. Full self-driving 12.5 is the next major leap up and has rolled out to hardware 4 vehicles a while back, giving it the head start to train high quality data on newer cars. This happened much earlier than hardware 3 vehicles as extensive code optimization was required to get it running on the latest full self-driving software. Now this version of full self-driving has rolled out to the public in the first wave release and will continue to roll out in the line of batches and everyone will receive it in a wide release down the line. Now one important thing to keep in mind however is that this version of the software is not going to be the same AI model running on hardware for vehicles. This is going to be one that is heavily optimized and that is going to be available just for hardware 3. It will perform a similar but not identical. Now because the software has just recently rolled out, we don't know the extent of compression and optimization that has gone into this and how it will perform next to hardware 4 vehicles, but we did get some insight and details from the head of AI himself. According to Ashok, they were able to achieve similar performance performance to hardware 4 on 12.5 with a relatively smaller model for hardware 3. And to combine the other model compression techniques, they believe that they can run the same 12.5 model on both hardware platforms in the future. Now with even that being said, it doesn't necessarily guarantee anything and Ashok states that the 5 time parameter count increase is just one of many things they need to optimize for. There is a whole list of items which includes dataset distribution, dataset quality, model architecture, training compute, and much more. All of this will have a tremendous impact on the final performance of full self-driving on hardware 3. Now we have some really great people here from the Tesla community who just got their hands on the software and right away went out to test drive it and gave us their first impressions. The first person here is going to be AI Driver. He has done tremendous amount of testing on hardware 4 and hardware 3. If you guys want to check him out, he is AI Driver on Twitter. I'll link him somewhere in the description below. He shared with us his first thoughts 
after updating his older Model S, through his 45 minute drive on Hardware 3, he can confirm that 12.5 is still just as magical. It takes a natural path through all the turns and has really good lane positioning and much better acceleration and braking than any version before. One thing he did notice, however, is that it is less smooth of a drive than his Model Y with Hardware 4, and he noticed more micro braking and overall slower than his usual drive that he previously did. He did end it by saying that it was still a solid drive with no interventions even though it's not as buttery smooth as hardware 4 vehicles. Another great person from the Tesla community who was able to test this version of full self driving as soon as it was made available, Homar's catalog was much more blunt this time around stating that hardware 3 performs noticeably worse as this is running a smaller version of the model. However, he states that performance should be much more on par once they emulate certain functions hardware accelerated on hardware 3 then they should be able to run the full size model. So now that hardware 3 has been fully supported and released this sets the tone for future updates. Updates and versions such as 12.6 and 12.7 would definitely be coming to hardware 3 vehicles. One thing we'll have to keep in mind and fully accept is that they will always be prioritizing the release and software for hardware 4 vehicles and eventually optimizing it for the older hardware 3. In either case however, we are extremely excited for this for them to fully support a 6 year old hardware running one of the latest versions of full self driving software. This is something that we have never seen any other company ever do. And who knows, hopefully in the future we may be seeing a fully unsupervised version of full self driving on older hardware such as these. Fingers crossed for all that to happen and like I said I am glad to be proven wrong and in this case I have been proven wrong. 12.5 is available for older vehicles such as hardware 3 and hopefully it's going to continue rolling on for the future to come. Anyways, I will be keeping a close eye on this with the RoboTaxi announcement coming up very soon. We are going to be focusing all on that, especially on the release of Hardware 5, which is the next major jump in hardware release. All of this is going to be coming out. I will be there for it. So make sure you guys stick around and hit that subscribe and bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnny. Over there, you guys will get the latest. You can chat with me, DM with me anytime, and I will respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.